Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Justice League 2021 Steppenwolf. I am super pumped to take a look at this guy. He can't even fit in frame. Holy crap, he's so big. Uh, yeah, man. Um, such a sick metal looking figure. Let's just take a look at the packaging. I, I just want to get this guy out. There's the side of the packaging right there, the left side. On the back, you can see the jumbo card right there. You can see all the other figures you can pick up currently. Uh, missing Cyborg, Batman, and Superman, and the Target exclusive Superman. If someone wants to hook me up, let me know. Anyways, there is the right side of the box, and that's about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. Okay, we got Steppenwolf out of the packaging, and I gotta say, I really, really like this figure. Uh, it's been a few days since I uh, opened him. Uh, I've just been really busy um, working and uh, going to the gym, and I got braces too, so if I sound a little different, I don't know why. <laughs> My teeth hurt like hell. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the accessories. So he comes with the base, which he... Um, needs. <laughs> uh, the the leg, my, uh, my, the joints on this figure is a little loose and the feet are so small that sometimes it's hard to get them to stand in a dynamic pose, which kind of sucks. But here is the card. That is an epic card. Um, maybe they could have chosen a better picture. I don't know, but this is still pretty cool. There's Mac. I'm going to read it. Pause it now. And my cat is looking in a paper bag. Get out of here, cat. Damn. Freaking Norman. There you go. Let's, let's take a look at the uh, battle axe. Dude, I... Uh, dude, you know, Steppenwolf was really the main villain, right? Like, I, I really liked Steppenwolf, especially after, you know, uh, with the Snyder Cut. Because I love those epic battles between the Atlanteans and the Amazon... Amazonians, I don't know, and uh, yeah, you know, it was just like so Lord of the Rings, like it had such a Lord of the Rings vibe, but this looks really cool, love the sculpt on that, so if you hear the paper bag, my cat's just trying to sit on it, but yeah, that looks sick, yeah, I've seen pictures of the, uh, previous Justice League, you know, movie, uh, Steppenwolf from Mattel, and they all look horrible, like, I hate to say it, uh, but they do, but it, I don't think that's really Mattel's fault, I think that was just the original design of Steppenwolf, just really wasn't that attractive, but this right here looks epic, you can see the head sculpt here, it looks really cool, I like the little flesh tone they use, you know, it definitely separates the face from the armor, and it does look accurate too, so... That's cool. Uh, I like all the spikes around his head. and Even this looks cool. It would have been cool if you could take it out. <laughs> that would have been nice. But still, looks really sick. You know, some of the um, spikes aren't pliable. So they will poke you in some spots. But you can just see how loose that arm is. Look at that. That's really unfortunate. But... Uh, yeah, look at the back. You can see some muscle in there, too, which is cool. Getting can see shoulder muscles and stuff. I really like the hands on this guy, too. That looks really weird. And he holds the uh, battle axe pretty nicely as well. But, yeah, just look at this piece, man. This is really some something else. Like, this is definitely going to stand out among all the other figures uh, from the from the Justice League movie. I still haven't found Superman, Batman, or Cyborg, which I'm really getting irritated by, but it is what it is. But yeah, this looks really, really stellar. Unfortunately, the articulation's a bit loose, but, you know, this sucks, but... The head will look side to side. You can get some head tilting in there. He'll look up a tiny bit. He'll look down a tiny bit. You get the arms to ratchet out like so. That's nice. You get the full 360 in there. And then you can get... There is a bicep swivel. And then because this rotates as well, this is entirely its own piece. There's a butterfly joint in there. 
but you can get this to rotate and you get the arms to bend and then get those to rotate as well. It has the hinges in the hand and they can swivel I think. They can but it's kind of stiff. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, you can get them to go that much forward, that much back. I do not like how that clicked. You get some side to side motion and rotation so that's really cool. Hip joints will move out like so. You will kick out like so, which is nice. Back quite a bit. He has the McFarlane joint, so you can get... There's no rotation in there, which is kind of weird. You can get the uh, legs to hinge up like that, and that looks really good. And then you get the weird feet. So you can get the hin you get the ball-jointed hinges, and then you get these individually articulated toes, which... That's one of the reasons why he has a hard time standing, because it keeps moving. But, uh, yeah... Very small feet for a very large figure, so he definitely had a harder time standing up. But luckily McFarlane does, you know, back up their products with display bases. So I'm just going to bring this closer to me so I can pop this in a little bit easier. There we go. Alright, now let's do some comparisons and then uh, I'm going to log off. So there is Steppenwolf there. Taking forever to uh, stand. Oh, come on, McFarlane, why you make them? Why you make the feet so weird? Yeah, and also, you know, it's the ball joints too. But, anyways, so here is the other Mega Fig from the Wave. So there is Dark Side, obviously. You know, step. I is this step move like Dark Side's nep nephew or something. I don't remember. But in the movie, I think he's just his like, it's a you know little worker, little helper. Ah, uh, the ankles on this suck. So there is Dark Side. And while I have both of these here, I want to show off. So there is the DC, UC, uh, DC Universe Classics Dark Side. One of my absolutely fa absolute favorites from the line. So you get these two. So, and then I got the DC Universe Classics Steppenwolf. And you can kind of see the similarities, right? You know, it's got the spikes. Obviously, this is more human. But he's got the, um, the bow axe, too. And, yeah, I don't know. Just, I, I love this figure. I've had this figure for a very long time. And he's always stand out, you know, stood out to me from the other figures. Unfortunately, the arm... It's a little loose on mine, but yeah, this is based off the superpowers, Kenner superpowers figure. But yeah, very uh, apocalyptic looking figure, and I really like him. But yeah, definitely doesn't uh, scale very well with him. So you get that. Uh, Seven Wolf, good band, good band too. Anyways, so you get those guys, and then I don't know. No, he doesn't want to stand. I'll just leave him like that. And then here is the Flash. And the only other figure I have from this whole thing. Aquaman. Still had that scuff on his head. I put Wonder Woman back on the shelf. So uh, no Wonder Woman. But yeah. So far so good. Seriously can't wait to get the other three figures. Oh my god I'm dying to get them. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, you know, do all that good things. Leave your comments. What do you think about the this figure? I, to be honest, I like Step the figures when it comes to the figures. I like Stepping Wolf more than Dark Side. I'm just gonna say. I know a lot of people are gonna say they like Dark Side more. I, I don't know. I think mine with the quality control issues and then, you know, just Stepping Wolf looks cooler, right? He looks more metal. I don't know. No pun intended. But, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.